Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me for part two of what sold in the last half of March 2023. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started since I already did an intro in the other video. So this is going to be, we'll start right here. This is a Wish Pets Jackson the Jackalope with tag. It's about nine inches and it's from 2007. This I did take a best offer or I sent out an offer for $9.50. Um, I tend to pick up these Wish Pets if they have a tag because they sell for this nice little range of $9 to $10 that I am happy with. And that sold, I paid $0.49 cents for it and it sold in probably a month or two. These I got from my first yard sale of 2023. And these are Les Miserables Victor Hugo Volumes 2 and 3. They're Thomas Nelson's and Sons Publisher. Um, they're leather and they're antique. These, so these I just kind of listed. I chose a price and I went with it and I list, they were listed for about a month and they sold for full asking. So they did not have a date in them. I was pretty confident these were antique and I did search for a fair amount of time for them. But I get to a point where if I'm searching for so long, it becomes, you know, the law of diminishing returns where I'm going to be spending so much time trying to find this item that it's really not worth it. So I just put a price, you know, if it was too low, they would have sold really fast, but I feel like this was just right for these and they were in pretty decent condition. And they were very nice. This picture stinks because I couldn't stand them up right. I don't know why I didn't put them on my little display thing, but I didn't. Uh, so they were just nice little pieces, I thought. So let's go ahead to the next one. This one's fun, like it's super cute. So this is the 1980 Finger Puppet Monkey Mitt and I included, it had five little penguins and snowmen. So in the read, so read I always put when I want them to read my description. And in there I basically just said, these are being sold as is. They weren't dirty or anything like that, but you know, they had a lot of like things stuck to them because they had the, velcro on them and I just I wasn't gonna deal with it I wasn't gonna pick out every little thing from the velcro and clean up all their little felt so I just put that it was leaving that to the buyer they I just didn't leave them filthy is all so they're super they're super cute and they came with the little the little poems super cute very vintage and these I sent out or took a best offer of $20 on. Can't remember. These I got from a yard sale. It was a lot of two brass animals. It was a pelican and a duck duckling. And I didn't, they weren't worth enough alone. I took a best offer of $7.90 for these. And they're just, they're really small. So less than, you know, one, the duck is a little over three inches. And then my little pelican is just barely pushing two and a half inches. So very teensy and cute. But you do run in with these little brass animals. You really do need to, you might want to lot them together because the shipping can become a fair amount because they are, they're dense. So keep that in mind. This was again, this was from my, again, bulk buy of records from another reseller's scraps, but I lotted together three Lawrence Welk records. Um, this is not ever anything I would pick up if I was choosing, but I was making the best of this lot because I knew I could make some money. I was happy with it. You know, that person took out what they wanted. I'll take the scraps. I'm fine with scraps. And it, this sold, this took a while to sell months, but it did sell for full asking plus free shipping. So stop coming pop up I'm aware okay this I don't think was an amazing buy but it sold relatively quick actually so I ended up paying ten dollars for this at a thrift store and I thought it'd be worth more because in Rosetta Stone's heyday it was worth more and so this is Rosetta Stone Japanese level one and two, but it's still sold for $35 plus shipping. So I was pretty pleased with that.
This is a Gan or Gans Webkins White Swan Sealed Unused Code. And yeah, anytime a Webkins plush has that code, I'm picking it up if it's cheap. Absolutely. They always eventually sell. There's ones that are worth way more, like the Signature Series, uh, but $12, I'm happy. I'll take it. I paid likely 49 cents because I have in my mind where I picked this up and it was a Goodwill that, yeah, still doesn't price up their plush very much. So 49 cents. This is a USS Alaska Navy submarine snapback hat. I don't know a lot about hats, but I've started to pick up a lot more hats. I'm really just trying to put my hands in everything I can in reselling. And there's things I love to sell, so books and records and, you know, those kind of things I just adore. And then it's not that I mind the other stuff. You just, you have your passions, but I need to fill my store with everything else too because books and records don't always sell really fast. That little pop-up's gonna drive me batty. It's come up like 12 times. I've only had one offer. <laughs> okay. And so this sold for full asking price. I think I paid a couple bucks for this and it was in pretty decent condition. It was made in USA, I believe. And you know, the buyer was nice, asked me a couple questions and made a nice sale. These, these make me smile because they're again, nostalgic. This is a lot of five embroidered patches. There's Rocco, Angry Beavers, Ren and Stimpy and Arnold and Real Monsters. So nothing super special about these, but I took a best offer, $11. I think I have about a dollar into these. They just look at them. They're cute, very cute. Look, cookbook. So here is a Betty Crocker's cookbook, new and revised edition, and it is the second printing from 1979. This did sell for full asking price and took maybe a month or so to sell. And let me see, let me show you the copyright because I'm into that because Betty Crocker is very good about telling you. This is second printing right there. So that was a good sale, nice and easy. This I showed in my recent haul as well, that pop-up, stop. This is, I'm sorry if you're just listening and you're hearing me go batty over pop-ups, but it just keeps coming up. So this is a Velda Morby oil painting in frame, vintage Nevada art, and the title was mostly yellow flowers. And Velda Morby is, yeah, a Nevadan artist, had a, this one was, you can see on the back, it actually says Reno Plum Lane, yeah, there you go, from where it came from. And there's the title, Mostly Yellow Flowers, you can barely see. But this is just a local artist to my hometown, and they don't pop up a lot, but pretty much every time they pop up, they're worth about $100. This one was free to me and sold really fast, and the buyer is very happy and is um, also from Reno or lives in Reno and is very happy with the purchase, which always makes me really smile because I know that this item is being cherished now. This is a Beatles Abbey Road album cover woven tapestry throw blanket. Uh, my best friend's favorite band is the Beatles, so I feel a little guilt that I didn't give her this, uh, but it I paid about $5 for this and it is new with the tags. It's, I sold it, yeah, for 45, and it took a month or two to sell. I got this at my local Goodwill. This is a vintage folding fan, hand-painted purple floral lace that had a black handle with gold accents. I don't know anything about fans. This was another one where I was doing some research and then I just went, I'm gonna throw a price and see if it sticks. And it stuck. And it is, it is very pretty. So almost didn't get this because my mother-in-law has some unfair memories of fans because she used to have to frame them. And so she scoffed at this, but we actually, it was at the, the first sale. We went 
the first time I left it behind. And then the second time I went, I'm going to get this fan. So I got it and paid about a dollar in the bulk lot and it sold for $40. I understand why she doesn't like fans, but we're buying fans. They sell for good money. See? No, this thing. I don't, I don't like this thing because it's been staring at me for many, 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 many months. This is the Care Bears new 2021 plush Do Your Best Bear. It is in its box. I got a few of these at a thrift store and then my friend got a couple of these and then she eventually gave me hers because hers weren't selling and didn't want to look at them anymore either. So I am just, I've sold one now. I keep lowering that price because I just, I'm, I don't need to make a lot of money. I'm done with these because they ta they've taken forever because these are at least a year, at least a year old, maybe two years. I am not positive. So yes, sold for full asking. Woohoo. This is a Five Nights at Freddy's Bonnie Purple. And it's, it was big. It was like pillowy material. This also took a long time to sell because that photo tells me it's been at least nine months. And I know it's been longer than that. And this sold for full asking of 1995. I don't even have a tiny recollection of where I got this plush. It was just one day it was with me and now it's on to its new home. No idea where it came from. So I can't even tell you what I paid, but I'm a cheap human at heart, so probably not much. This is a Rocky Horror Picture Show original soundtrack vinyl. And my fiance picked this one out at a local thrift store and we paid about a dollar for it. It was in very, very good condition. Um, and took a couple months to sell. This is another Five Nights at Freddy's. So always I pick up, if I see a Five Nights at Freddy's and it's a decent price, I'm grabbing it. Cause there are some that are worth a ton of money. And so this is just the Foxy one and it didn't have a tag, but I knew the series and I sold this one before. So I knew what it was. This one I just sold recently. It's cute. So this is, you know, the, the time when my previous life plays a part. So my previous animal care career lets me identify dog plush. So yeah, there you go. So this is a Douglas Cuddle Toys Wire Fox Terrier. It was eight inches and it sold in a couple months and I paid a dollar for this and it sold for $23.95. It was very cute. This is, I got this from the first yard sale as well. It's Something of Value by Robert Rourke and it was from 1955. It did not have its dust jacket. It wasn't in super great condition. So I just included that information and lots of pictures. And I took a best offer of $15 on this, plus shipping. This I got in, if you watch my previous videos, you know, 190. That's actually my ad that it's showing. If you're watching this, I just had an ad pop up that I can get this cheaper somewhere and it's on Poshmark but you have to pay for shipping on Poshmark. I'm offering free shipping on eBay. So that's another thing. I've sold a few different wallets that I have on eBay and I've sold them on Poshmark and I sell them for better money because on eBay it's more flooded. So I have to offer free shipping to entice and on Poshmark they'll sell for full price plus the buyer paying shipping. So that's why, you know, I do cross list because some places they're just better for certain items that are not as flooded on that place. And this I got, if you've watched my previous videos, out of the bins. There's a bin sale at my local SPCA thrift store where you buy a tote for $20 as a donation and then you get 90 seconds to go through eight or nine different bins each, so 90 seconds each, and you get to fill your tote with whatever you want and you can fill it to the brim usually we're walking out, you can fill it to the top of the handle. So you just walk out like this, waddling out with your stuff. It's great. And I got a whole bunch of wallets this time and they've taken quite a while to sell, but they're super easy to store and they just sell over time. And I'm happy with that. It was one listing 
for multiple items. This just sold. This is a very cute. This is a Fenton Art Glass Turtle Ring Tree Holder. And it's just, it's very cute. I mean, it's kind of interesting. It's growing out of its back, but very neat little thing. And I took a best offer of $16 for this. This thing also, I don't ever want to see it again. This took forever to sell. This is probably multiple years in the making. This is a John Smith Pocahontas six inch figure. Oh, I put rare in the title. That's how I can date this listing as well. One, the picture and two, the fact that I used rare because rare is not applicable to this item, but it was in the beginning of when I started selling and that's okay. We all have growing pains and learning. So this uh, sold on Poshmark for $15. So it was still a decent sale. It just followed me around for a couple years. These are cute. This was just to a buyer. She bought them for a party she was having and was very happy with them. So that's the best part of this is when people tell me about what they're going to use them for or, you know, say why it matters to them. And I just love that. So this is a vintage Dabco Silver Limited Seashell Salt and Pepper sh say, Shaker Set um, with holder and tags. And I definitely put these as new because it had tags and the Salt and Pepper Shakers were sealed as well. And this sold for $20 on Poshmark. This last item is a Sanrio 2013 Hello Kitty Digital Clock Radio Alarm with Nightlight. So I put their read description flaw. The flaw is that it was highly faded. So if you looked at the other ones, this one is off colored. So I could have definitely got more if it was in perfect condition, but I still listed it and I sold it for $16. I paid a dollar for it and it was relatively easy to pack up and I'm happy with that sale. So thank you for joining me for part two of what sold. Please watch out for a new cookbook video and I look forward to seeing you the next time.